fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I am Silver. Hooray! The Lone Ranger and his Indian companion, Tonto, rode leisurely along the trail in the hills outside of the town of High Rock. What a warm day, Tonto. I'll be glad to pitch camp and rest a bit. Ah. Well, we soon find good place for camp, Kimasabi. You think maybe we find outlaws? We've been trailing near High Rock? I don't know. We trail them a long way. Mm, that's right. Maybe then the Those shots came around the bend ahead. One silver. As the masked man and Indian galloped around the bend, they saw the stagecoach off to one side of the trail, stopped in a shallow gully. One of three outlaws was just mounting, holding a sack he'd taken from the stage. We see three outlaws. Yes, they're leaving. They saw us coming. Use your guns, Tonto. Them get head start. Them get them way. We'll have to stop at the stage. The driver's hurt. Come on. Uh, uh, they turn off trail into strange red clay. Yes. I'll look at the driver. There's no one in coach. The driver must have been alone this trip. He's badly wounded, Toto. We'll have to get the stage out of this clay, and you can take it to town. Uh, me do it. We'll manage the driver as best we can until you get him to a doctor. I'll help you get started, then I'll try to trail those outlaws. After helping get the stagecoach back on the trail and attending to the driver's wound, the Lone Ranger planned to meet Tonto later on the edge of town. Get up there. Get up. Then, as Get the up. Indian drove off with the stage, the masked man took up the trail of the three crooks. Come For about half a mile, the trail was clear. Then it ended where the three outlaws had gone into a shallow creek. Oh, Silver. Oh, easy. No telling how far they'll go, keeping to the shallow water. I'd better go meet Tonto and come back in the morning. Oh, A short time later, the Lone Ranger met Tonto on the edge of town, and the two men went into the hills and pitched camp for the night. 
Later that night, Toto returned to High Rock and entered the cafe, going to the back and watching the crowd. Before long, his attention was drawn to a man who entered alone. Hi, something for you, mister? Yeah, give me the best you got. Sure, mm. coming right up. He wants this You're a this town, aren't you? Just passing through, sort of. Yeah, I thought so. They haven't seen you around. There you are. Good. Here's the money. Give the change. Yeah, thanks. Here's to you. Uh, have another? Oh. No, that's all. Got to be getting along. Adios. Adios. Him have strange clay on boots. Me follow. For some distance, Tonto followed the man who had been in the cafe. The moon was bright and the wary Indian could easily keep his quarry in sight until he reached the foothills where the trail wound in and out among the boulders. Tonto pulled Scout to a walk on the rocky trail. Easy, Scout. Easy, Tonto. Easy there. Suddenly, Tonto was startled by the whine of a bullet. Stop where you are or I'll plug you. Oh, Scout. Oh, Tonto. Easy, Scout. I got you covered from behind this boulder. A friend of mine is covering you from a boulder behind you. Reach and don't make a move. Ah, uh, me have hands up. Get him. Get him up. Get up. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Sam, it's an Indian. Yeah, I know. I saw him leave the cafe and wait for me to ride away. I let him follow me here to where I knew you were waiting, Pete. I wonder what he followed you for. Don't know yet, but we'll sure find out. Get his gun while I keep him covered. Sure. Easy, boy. Easy, then. Yeah, I got it. What's the idea of following me, Indian? Mm, maybe me just come this way. You came this way, all right. But you came this way on purpose, just to trail me. You think I'm stupid or something? Mm, me not say. <laughs> he gave you a good answer on that one, Sam. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> Being fresh won't help him any. You take him to the shack and let Ramon talk to him. Get going, Indian. Right along the trail in the direction you were riding. Go on, get moving before I fill you with lead. Uh -huh. Get him up, Scout. Get, Get him up. up. About half a mile of riding brought Toto and the two men to a deserted prospector's shack back in the foothills, where they pulled to a stop. Oh, 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 oh. All right, you. Get down and go inside. Uh, he's got a steady one. Hey, go ahead. Door's unlocked. Hey, Ramon, wake up. Uh, what? Oh, it is you, Sam. <clears throat> so, you have brought company, eh? Yeah. This Indian followed me from the cafe in town. I was wise to it, but I led him on to where Pete was waiting. Then we jumped him. For why you follow this hombre from the cafe, Indian? Because me think him outlaw who hold up stagecoach. Me see clay on boots and but... me follow. Me sure now. The clay on... Uh, Holy smoke. A redskin smart, Ramon. There is some of that clan in my boots at that. Yeah. You got down from your horse to grab the sack, remember? Quiet, amigos. I am just thinking of something. What? This Indian. He must have been riding with that masked man and the white stallion who rode toward us as we left the stage today. There were two, remember that? Yeah. yeah that's right. This Indian was the other rider. <coughs> Their bullets came mighty close, too. And if we not stop at stage to help... You not get away. Perhaps, my friend. But we did get away. And now we have you here with us, no? Uh, me not stay long. Oh, I think you will, amigo. Your stay with us will not be pleasant. Now that I know you were riding with that masked man today, it has come to me who that hombre on the big white stallion really is. Yeah, who? He's the lone ranger, amigo. What, what's that? He must have trailed us to this vicinity. Jumping catfish. He's the one you told us always wears a mask and helps the law. Exactly, my friend. This is the Indian who always rides with him. I am sure of that. Ah, and you same outlaws we come this way to find. You not get away from Lone Ranger. See? He admits what Ramon says is true. He does ride with a masked man. Hey, maybe that masked man followed him here. Ah, see, that is possible, Sam. Maybe him outside right now. Hey, hear what he said? Oh, he is just trying to make us worry, Pete. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> you have a gun. Go outside and look around, amigo. Hey, now, wait a minute. After all you told us about that mask, Omri, I don't want to take any chances. Yes. Even hear name a Lone Ranger make you outlaws nervous. Never mind uh, about that, Indian. Just make sure you don't pull any tricks. I'll go outside and look around. No, no, wait. We all go outside, and we take this Indian with us. 
You'll keep your guns ready. Let's go. This gun is at your back, Indian, so be careful. Hey, that paint horse. Is a fine one, eh, amigos? Yeah, it sure is. You come in handy, Ramon. He'd be better than that bronc you ride. No. No one else rides Scout. Scout! What? You go get Lone Ranger. Go, Scout! Hey, hey, he's leaving. I'll gun him. No, wait, Sam, wait. But you heard the Indian. He's got that paint horse trained. See, si, I have heard him, amigo. <laughs> I have heard stories of their horses. And the one time when the Indian sent the paint horse away, so the masked man could follow the trail back. That's not good. See, it is good. I was hoping the Indian would do just that. He'd prove already that the Lone Ranger's not nearby. Otherwise, the Indian would not send the horse away, no? Hey, that's good figure. Maybe. But the mashed hombre will backtrack on that paint horse and... See, see, of course, my friend. And the trail will lead right to this cabin. Only we shall not be in the cabin at all. This is part of my plan. I get it. We hide nearby and ambush the masked man when he comes snooping. That is exactly right, Senor Sam. Welcome. We will find a suitable hiding place. Then we will tie and gag the Indian and wait for the Lone Ranger. As time went on and Toto didn't return to camp, the Lone Ranger became concerned. He had saddled Silver in preparation to ride toward town and was about to mount when he heard fast approaching hoofbeats. That must be Tonto coming now. He seems to be in a big hurry. A scout with an empty saddle. Oh, ho, scout! Oh! Something's happened to Tonto. All right, scout. We'll backtrack the trail you made and take you along with us. Easy, Silver. Come, scout. Come on, Silver! Though the moon was shining brightly, it took some time for the Lone Ranger to follow Scout's back trail. It was just about dawn when he reached the rocky trail that led to the outlaw's cabin. The masked man pulled to a halt. Close, Silver. Close, Close Scout. Ease up, boy. Easy. Telling what I might be riding into. Steady, big fellow. I'd better play it safe. After dismounting, the Lone Ranger stood for a moment looking around. Then, moving off the trail, he began to advance slowly on foot moving from one boulder to another. Finally, looking from behind one of the boulders, he saw the cabin a short distance away. Mm. An empty prospector's cabin. Could be the hideout. There's no guard posted. There's no sign of life. I'll give a signal to let Tonto know I've come here in case he's near. Then I'll decide on the next move. Hidden in a gully a short distance from the cabin, the three outlaws waited with Tonto, whom they had tied and gagged. One of them continually watched the cabin in case the masked man arrived. Don't look like he's coming at all, Ramon. Perhaps the horse was not smart enough to find him. Wait, listen. It's a hoodoo. Perhaps, amigo. Also, it might be a signal, no? Signal? You mean... Quiet. We shall soon find out. I will answer. If we hear it again, we'll know. Wait, wait. Listen, senor. Listen. I don't hear. See, see. Yes, he has come. Look at the Indian. That is how I guessed. By the way, he lifted his head to listen the first time. <laughs> and now, amigos, we will soon have that masked man in our trap. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger had come within sight of the cabin, and deciding to let Tonto know he was near in case his Indian friend was within hearing distance, the masked man signaled with the hoot of an owl. The clever outlaw leader, Ramon, had seen Tonto stir when he heard the signal and guessed that it was the Lone Ranger. Uh, the masked man was too wise to ride up to the cabin. That signal came from beyond the clearing in front of the cabin. What are you going to do? I don't like him being so close from home. By this time, of course, he knows we are not in the cabin. He could tell the signal I gave in reply did not come from inside. Yeah, and now he'll come looking for us. No, my friend. I will go looking for him right now. You keep your guns handy, your eyes open. Adios. heard the answering signal, he was immediately suspicious. The two hoots of an owl that he had heard in reply to his were not according to the plan he and Toto had worked out. Toto would have answered with only one hoot. The Lone Ranger also knew the answering signal hadn't come from within the cabin. He stood for a moment trying to figure out the situation. Hmm. One of the outlaws must have answered my signal. That means they expected me and were planning to trap me. I have to think fast. For sure, Tonto wasn't tied up in that cabin. <coughs> Silver's giving a warning. Moving cautiously, the Lone Ranger made his way back toward the spot where Silver and Scout were waiting. When he was a few yards away from the horses, a voice spoke from behind a large boulder. Reach, senor. What? Do not turn around. Instinctively, the masked man raised his hands and stood still as Ramon emerged from behind the boulder and approached slowly with pointed gun. This gun, she's ready to put a bullet into your back, senor. Ah, the paint horse is most smart, no? That's right. Uh, but you, you have come so nicely into my trap, senor. Already my two partners have your Indian friend tied up and waiting in the gully, beyond the cabin there. First I shall take your gun, then we go to them. As Ramon talked, the Lone Ranger slightly moved his hand in a signal to Silver, who stood to his right. The intelligent stallion caught the signal from his master. Slowly, the big horse walked forward. Ah, so your horse is coming to you. He does not know of your danger, senor. Maybe not. Silver moved close to the Lone Ranger's side and seemingly reached out to nuzzle his sleeve. Then, as Ramon stretched forth a hand to take the Lone Ranger's guns, uh, the masked man spoke sharply. Now, Silver! <laughs> Oh, I'll take that gun. Good work, Silver. All right, get to your feet and keep quiet. Get up. Uh, see, si, see, si, senor. Uh, to think Ramon Toro should be tricked. Shows you're not as smart as you thought you were, Toro. No. I have heard of you, senor. And I have also heard you do not shoot to kill. Oh, tough, huh? Yeah. I'll fix you, senor. To quiet you down, Toro. Oh. I'll tie him and leave him here for the moment. Use my lariat here. The others didn't hear that scuffle. Pull your hand around here. This one. There. That'll hold him. Now I've got to get the other two he spoke of. Hmm. Ah, the small makeup kit in my saddlebag. Using that and taking his hat and jacket. Maybe I could. It's a long chance, but it might work. I'll have to work fast. <laughs> Back in the gully, Sam and Pete waited for Ramon to return. Ten more minutes went by. Then Pete spoke. Hey, Sam, I wonder what happened to Ramon. Ah, he can take care of himself. Maybe he was wrong about that being the masked man. Yeah, I hope so. I don't like having that hombre after us, especially being so close. Now look, why don't you go and see if you can find Ramon? I'll stay here with the Indian. Who, me? Go out there? What's the matter? He yelling? Hey, look, if that mask hombre is stalking around out there, I don't want to run into him. Ah, don't be a fool. If Ramon had run onto him, we'd most likely have heard gunplay by now. Yeah, but just to all say... All right, all right. You stay here and I'll go out and hunt for Ramon. I'm tired of playing guard to this tied-up Indian anyway. Sure, sure. You go, Sam. That's better. I'll keep watch on the Indian. If by any chance the masked man should sneak up on you, just put your gun against the Indian's head and tell him you'll shoot if he makes any move toward you. 
and yell for us. Yeah, I never thought of that. Maybe after all, I better You go. wanted to stay here, so now you're staying. I'll go out and find her more. Adios. Leaving the gully, Sam, with gun ready, moved slowly and carefully in the direction which Ramon had taken. All seemed quiet, and as he moved from boulder to boulder, he glanced nervously about him. The sun had come up, and the twittering of the birds seemed to give him confidence. Finally, he paused beside a boulder and called out cautiously. Hey, Ramon. Ramon. I'm over here. Oh, gosh, I'm glad I found you. But I don't see you. Where are you? As Sam stood staring, the Lone Ranger moved silently around the other side of the boulder and came up behind him. I'm right behind you, senor. Huh. You scared me. I... Hey, what is this? You look something like Ramon, no, but... but I'm not. Uh, why, you I are... Enough of you. Oh. Yeah, I'll take him back in time up the Toro. There. That's two down and one to go. Hope my luck holds out until I get the tunnel. Five minutes went by as Pete waited beside Toto in the gully. He hadn't noticed the scuffle between the Lone Ranger and Sam, and he sat with gun in hand, ready for what might happen. Suddenly, he heard a voice calling in a low tone a short distance away. Senor, senor. <laughs> <sighs> There's Ramon peeking out from behind that big rock over there. Hey, what's up, Ramon? Untie the engine and feed and bring him over here behind his boulder. Sure. Did you sight the mask, hombre? See, si. things are well in hand, senor. Hurry, bring the engine. Hey, be right there. I gotta cut the cords from your feet, idiot. <clears throat> now get up, you're coming with me. Oh. Come on. Over here, senor, quick. Come on, Indian. Here he is. Hey, why did you... Hey, there's something wrong here. You want Ramon? All right, I'm not. I'll untie Tonto and take the gag from his mouth. I'll take your gun. Oh, you... You must be the armor you were supposed to wear a mask. This disguise suited my purpose better right now. Hurry up. Sure, sure. There, the gag's out. <clears throat> Me know you can hear Kim Sophie. Now your hands. <clears throat> there. Now, now, look, mister. Honest, I, I wasn't going to hurt your Indian friend. Ramon was... Shut up. Time, Toto. Uh, me use same cords. Uh, me afraid them see you and shoot from ambush. Uh, there. Thanks to Scout and Silver, things have worked out my way, Toto. Get over there behind the next boulder. Your two friends are waiting. Ramon and Sam tied hand and foot. Yes. Now, Toto, tie his feet and put him with the others. You can ride to town and get. The... Now listen. Somebody coming. Kimosanti, it's sheriff and posse. Then maybe hunt outlaws. That saves you a trip to town, Toto. I'll put my mask back on now. There are Toro's hat and jacket. Uh, what we do? Wait for posse? No, no use trying to make explanations. They'll find these three crooks tied and ready to take back to jail. The sheriff will know Toro on sight. There have been plenty of handbills out about him. Here, Silver. I'll scout. <laughs> Realizing that the sheriff and a posse were coming, the Lone Ranger and Toto mounted Silver and Scout and headed up the trail away from the place where they had left the three outlaws tied hand and foot. A moment later, the posse came around the bend in time to get a glimpse of the masked man and Indian leaving in the distance. Hey, there go two of them! Give them that man! Look here. Three hombres tied up like chickens for market. One of them looks like Toro. Thunder, it is Toro. I don't get this at all. Well, what counts is we got Toro and two of his men. Oh, my head. Mark, he's coming too. Must have been knocked out. Uh, caramba. Ramon Toro, he's done for. Yeah, you fool. And he got Sam and me too. You were so smart and all. Look, Sheriff. 
While we're standing here listening to these crooks happen, those other two are getting away. Yeah, yeah some of you better get going after them. That masked man and Indian have a couple of fast horses, looks like. The masked man and the Indian? But the law, why should it chase them, Senor Sheriff? Because while I'm sheriff here, this county is going to be rid of the likes of you, Ramon. And that goes for those two. Yeah, the sheriff's almost as big a fool as you are, Ramon. What do you mean by that, you ordinary crook? Uh, Ramon is a fool because we were three against one. And yet he let that mask armory get the best of us. We already had the Indian tied and helpless. What's he talking about anyway, Sheriff? Uh, gone if I know. No, ask Ramon. Maybe he'll tell you what I mean. El Toro, just what does this hombre mean? It is very simple, Senor Sheriff. We have get the Indian and have him tied and gagged. He sent his paint horse to get help. Send his horse, did you say? See, si, of course. And he was the big white stallion that knocked me down. When I had the drop on the mask, man. Now, this gets more mystifying by the minute. I don't savvy. We don't get after those two. No, it are. is no mystery, senor. And it's foolish for you to trail them. You will savvy about the horses, too. When I tell you the hombre who left with the Indian, the mask man and the big white stallion, he is on the side of the law. Three against one. And yet he is win out and catch us all. Now, wait a minute. On the side of the law, you say? Now I know. But of course, senor, he is the unbeatable Lone Ranger. This is a feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated, created and produced by George W. Trendle, directed by Charles D. Livingston, and edited by Fran Stryker. The part of The Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer.